Fact Fiend with Carl Smallwood is mostly known for a few things. Mainly, facts and Carl Smallwood. <laughs> but something which started a very long ago and is still consistently part of the channel is dumb photoshopped images that we've created. I'll put a few examples of some particularly ridiculous ones on the screen now, but if you're watching the channel for a long time, you'll have seen a lot of these. Now, in the past, I've recorded myself editing some of these. They exist on my personal channel. Uh, I probably will rehome them here at some point under this banner, the Fact Fiend Photoshop banner, just so that they're all in the same place. But I guess if you're interested in watching any of those now, I will guess I'll link the playlist somewhere, either ab ab above or in, the, or in the description. But today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Because it's the first one, and because I actually don't have a Fact Fiend Photoshop to work on, what I've decided to do instead is to create an image to celebrate the new channel, the Untitled Side Channel. Anybody who's been a subscriber to Fact Fiend for a long time will know that the banner image that appears at the top of the Fact Fiend channel is one that's been there for quite a while, and it's an artwork showing Carl and a lot of the things that he finds interesting or has talked about in videos. But the difference here is that this channel is not just Carl, it is also me, Nisha, and Lucas. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to create a wallpaper filled with various likes and interests of all of us, and if it comes out in any way vaguely interesting, then I guess I will put it somewhere for people to download, save, and use as a wallpaper. Maybe I'll use it as a wallpaper. So I spent a long time last night gathering images to use in this, because that's one of the parts that'll take the longest, and it's also one of the parts that'll be the most boring. So what we've got to begin with, as you can see, open canvas, at the bottom, the name, untitled side channel. And then we have the legends themselves. First of all, Lucas. Now, as you can see, Lucas couldn't provide me with a recent picture of himself where he had arms, so we're gonna have to work around that or give him some arms. And then we have everybody's favorite member of the channel, me, Brad, Team, everyone Team Brad, hashtag Team Brad. Then we have Nisha, a picture I stole of her having just been on holiday to, as you can see, Universal Studios. And then crouching at the front, you all know him, Mr. Smallwood. I also thought it'd be nice for the central group to also have some, like, pets. So we also have a little picture of Cade, and we have Nisha's cat, Raz and Ruby. Before I reveal what's going to be surrounding this, let's do the first step, and let's properly cut these images out. This part can be very tedious, so we'll see how it goes. Fuck you, Photoshop. Team and pets cut out. The arrangement isn't too awful. The fact that Lucas has no arms <laughs> makes it very difficult. I think we need to move, move ourselves a bit closer than we would. I suppose it kind of works. It makes it look like Nisha's in front. We're very bunched together now, though. <laughs> to try and hide Lucas's armless torso. I should just remove everyone's arms and then there's not a problem. We are the armless channel. I do plan to make like uh, a proper cool uh, photoshopped image of us all at some point where I will ask everybody for specific photos of them in certain poses. But for this one, I just wanted to gather all the pictures that I could and just see what I could make. And already we're having problems. Like what's Nisha's hand doing? I was going to say, I wonder if I can position it so she her hands on Carl's shoulder, but then I'd have to make Carl gi giant Carl. <laughs> I'll put it back where it was. So I'll need to be a little bit further forwards. Uh, Nisha and I are similar in height. She's slightly taller than me. So she's going to go behind. But then Lucas is... Uh, right, I can actually... I can extend Lucas's shoulders out so it looks like... His arms are there. I, I know I can do that. So let's just quickly do that now. It also looks like he's got a hunch because the picture that I've got of Lucas, he's got his arms around two people. So his arms are actually raised. That's not awful. That sort of works. It doesn't need to look perfect. It just needs to exist. I don't know if it's the way I've cut this picture out or just the pose that she's in, but Ruby looks like a llama. Or an alpaca. Like, look how long that neck is. Okay, so we have our central team. But you may wonder, why is there so much space all around? And that's because that space is going to be filled up with various things that we're all interested in. Now, this is going to take me a very long time. 
because I have a lot of things to cut out. So I guess we'll go into another time lapse and I hope the program doesn't crash again. Oh, so it didn't actually take as long as I thought it was going to because I realised that as I was doing it that a lot of the images I brought in were already transparent PNGs. So everything's been cut out. Nothing's particularly tidy. I always like to just get everything looking good and then go through and refine everything. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the full composite image of what it's going to be and then explain what I'm going to do to it. And then I'm going to do things to it. We begin with the side channel crew in the middle as we've already seen. There's going to be some kind of divider in the middle. So there'll be foreground elements and background elements. The reason I'm doing this is because some of the elements I want to put in are fucking huge and some of them I want to put in are very small. So it helps to have like a divider which I'm thinking is going to be like a mountainscape. Like they're going to be on like a cliff edge and there's going to be like mountains rising up on either side. So then behind that you can be like oh those things behind are like the size of the mountains whereas the things in the foreground are the size of the people. So behind the mountain on the left we will have these three. Bleh. I would go through the name of everything, but it'll take too long. So you can just you can just look. And then behind on the right. Yeah. Then we have the front left selection. We've got uh, video game characters through. There's a polar bear in there because I like polar bears. And he's still here. My little uh, my little polar bear. He's, he's my best friend. He stays on my desk and helps me do my work. And then on the right, we have a bunch of other characters. So we have um, a few stressors from Lucas, some stressors from Nisha. Uh, a few things in there for me as well. Uh, these here are Lucas's favourite Pokemon, as far as I'm aware. Or his current favourite Pokemon. He made a point of being like, well, I actually have loads of favourites, but these are the ones I like at the moment. Which for some reason includes this fucking little box. What is this? I haven't played any of the later Pokemon games. Why is it just a caterpillar box that looks like a bus? Anyway, we've also got text foreground and image background. So, the ultimate idea for this composition will be, in the background, like illuminated by the sun, will be the fiend face. This is like the alternate fiend face for the side channel. It's the one that's on the little logo. And then obviously at the front we've got the text. And then we're in the centre being like shone on by this sun. And then in the background and on the sides are all of these things just gathered around. You know, honouring us, the heroes of the channel. Not going to lie, at the moment, it doesn't look particularly good. But it will. It will look good. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refine you know, add in some actual floor texture and mountains, add in some shadows, maybe do a bit of colour correction so everything looks like it's in the same place, put in the ethereal glow from the... Oh, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be amazing. You're all going to love it. If it looks shit, you still have to use it as a wallpaper. You don't get a choice. You can see that it's gradually coming together now. Now that the random grey paint has been removed and replaced with elements. It's not looking like it fits well at the moment because I've not colour graded anything. I've not tried to add in any uh, like brightness differences or shadows. One of the ways that's um, that helps to composite a lot of different things together is to apply a filter to everything. Because when you do that, it means that the same changes are happening to every single layer. So if I was to do something like this... Every single layer now has had like the black levels increased, which means that the whole thing has got this sort of deep, dark cast to it. And because that's happening everywhere, everything fits in better. It works even better, I would argue, with colours as well. So if I push the red up on this, it's, it's all immediately unified. So the idea would be, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to colour grade everything before doing this, so that everything at least has a similar kind of orangish sheen to it and then I'm going to start doing things to the entire image at once. You can see how easy it is just to add like a subtle colour over the top of it and immediately everything already looks like it fits in better. Anyway, back to work. So I just spent a long amount of time trying to make the light on the centre group look a bit more real. Uh, it's never going to look perfect with an image like this. Like, 
all of these images were just taken from social media profiles. None of them were taken uh, for a particular reason. Like all of the cameras that took them were different. The lighting situations were different. The color schemes was different. Some of them already had filters on. Like Raz and Ruby both had a filter on. So what it's all about is just getting it to look as interesting and almost accurate as possible. This is going to be under the banner of Fact Fiend Photoshop, and as people know from those of the past, they never look great. If we tried to make them look perfect, it would take way too much time, way too much effort. Carl is quite happy with just a bodged, like a, a shoved together image of parts. So that's what this is going to be. But if I'm going to do it, I'm going to try and do it at least in the way that looks vaguely decent. So that's why I'm putting so much time into trying to make the, the lighting look a bit more real. a long process I'm telling you so many things in this picture oh so I have been working on this now for over three hours <laughs> for a little bit a while basically there's not much else I'm gonna do to this now aside from little tweaks so this is pretty much the final image as you can see, the untitled side channel wallpaper. Oh god, it's so shit. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's a work of art. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little more time just sort of tweaking little parts of it, just to make it um, better. And uh, I will show you the final image that I decided I couldn't be bothered doing any more to now. So what you see now is the final image that I... I just looked at it and went, I can't be asked anymore because... No doubt I'll spend the next two or three hours fiddling with this. If you want this wallpaper for yourself, because obviously I know you do, it's a masterpiece, it's a work of art, then uh, I'll put it on my Twitter when this video goes live. And uh, if you have us on Patreon, I'll stick it on there as well so you can get access to it. So the plan is for this little series to be Fact Fiend Photoshops mainly. So whenever a Photoshop is done, in a, is mentioned in a video, um, Nisha and I, I, th I don't think Lucas does the photoshops because the wikis don't often have them and he only has the wikis so Nisha and I will record ourselves doing the um, work <laughs> we'll record ourselves doing the work and then we'll put it up so that people can actually see the process of making them, the decisions that are made when making them and like I said I have a bunch of others that I think I'm going to rehome here so expect to see a few older ones including some that I've never put back out there where I streamed myself making them. As always, show your support for the videos by sticking a like on so that we know which videos are doing well because this is, channel is very much just a throw shit at the wall and see what sticks and so knowing what sticks is very helpful. If you have any suggestions for other kinds of content or videos we can do, stick them in the comments. As well, what I want to know, I want you to analyse this entire picture and decide who out of everybody in this picture would win in a fight. If this was the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny, which character would win? There are a few solid contenders in there, and I've just noticed that I've put Superman right next to Goku, so that's probably going to start a debate anyway. But yeah, that's it for now. See you in the next video.